What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with the Season 5 intro of our Los Angeles Crusaders franchise. I can't believe we have made it to Season 5. We have gotten a lot done. And this is going to be one of the toughest years for us yet. We've made a huge change at quarterback, going with the rookie Stuart Denny, and choosing to let Derek Carr leave in free agency. And I don't know if that's going to pay off yet. This season is going to be very interesting. Denny definitely plays a little more of a style that I, I would like to do this upcoming season, and that is running the ball a little bit better than Derek Carr can. Uh, but obviously his passer ratings are not quite up to par uh, with Derek Carr yet. Now, the flip side of that was Derek Carr, despite his great ratings, really didn't play all that great for us. You know, he did a few good things. Um, obviously, he took us to two straight Super Bowls, but I think that was more managing the game than it was winning those games. Um and, you know, he also dealt with a lot of injuries late in the season as well. Uh, after the big trade, uh, he started getting injured very, very frequently. So it's definitely going to be interesting. And you know what? Actually, right now, maybe we should just put all of our time into Stuart Denny. Uh, that might be a better core. Oh, no. I just totally put points into Matt Marmorosa, too. Which is fine. I just didn't mean to do that. Um, and that's one some extra XP that we kept from Denny there uh, but yeah right now we just need to focus on Stuart Denny I feel like that would be the the wise course to take and we're not gonna have enough time for another one because of that I think we also put it into uh, JD Everett as well maybe so we really lost out on a lot of XP there um, but that's fine it's only one week here uh, Jared Allen will have to wait for the next opportunity okay he didn't make it I thought I read he did previously um, a few players on the trade block, but what we're doing today is we're going to go through our roster and fix our depth chart, uh, get ready for the preseason, as well as change the sliders around a little bit, guys. Um, so, obviously we want the rookie Snelling up here. And what we're going to do, I think, is start Matt Marmor. Oh, jeez, what is with this lag today? We're going to start Matt Marmorosa, and we're doing that because in the preseason, he's only going to get one quarter of play, and then that way we'll get to see Stuart Denny for quite a bit, um, and then maybe Snelling if we choose to sub him in as well. Um, and likewise, in the regular season, McNeil's probably going to be here in Denarius Moore's spot, and Gaten's going to be here in the slot. Um, so, but for the preseason, I'm cool having Denarius Moore here. Um, and then that'll give us a chance to kind of see what he could do a little bit more. The rookies, that is. Um, cool with this right here. Right end. Uh, we're going to be trusting on McCray a lot. Stepping in for Justin Tuck to see what he can do. Now, what does he rate over here? Yeah, he rates about the same. Okay. Yeah, he does. Um, so we got McCown. And of course, we got Price Price. I definitely want to see Price Price play some. Um, and being on the bench, he will. Uh, so again, I want to put price price here. And changing his position definitely hurt his stock a little bit. Um, and then Holmes is a rookie, so obviously we want to see Holmes as well. But what we might do is this. We might just roll with this so I can see price price a little bit more to start. I know everybody's excited about him. and He's got really good speed for his size. Um, pretty solid right here. Uh, right outside linebacker, we, we haven't really been able to fill that yet. Um, I'm cool with moving Olajuwon Thornton there. And Priester, I thought he was going to be a lot better too. Does, do we still have Humphrey as the backup? So why do we have... I'm confused. Bolaji Okuyimi. We definitely want to see some more of him as well. Um, so what I think needs to happen... Well, Zeke Hickman's not appearing over here. Alright, we'll just roll with this for now. We'll change it around as we need to. Um, and I don't believe... I did not. I did not get um, our backup middle linebacker from last year back, which he was a pretty good player. Alright, so we got Amukamara leading the way at the number one corner spot. He did really well there. Uh, Denard at number two. And Sherman obviously needs some time. So we're going to put Sherman here to, to get going. Um, I think he's going to be a great, great player. I like his size at 6'1", of course, Knight 6'2", but he's got great coverage skills. Not a great player with getting interceptions yet, but we can definitely work with him. He's going to get a lot of time um, playing off the bench there since the bench players play quite frequently. And I think that's going to be pretty solid to get going. 
Uh, Sherman, I would like to sub in here. Um, we'll start off with this because I think, look at this, speed, 98 speed. He's got the fastest speed on the team. Um, Chase Cross will be returning in the first quarter, but that will give Sherman quite a bit of time in the quarters afterwards to uh, get some experience so we can kind of see what he is able to do uh, returning kicks. All right, so that's going to be it for our depth chart to get going again things can always change but that's going to be it for now um and then what we need to do is go to settings uh first of all we'll do league settings we're in our preseason remember so we go down to eight minute quarters and i know a lot of people are like sim past the preseason but that's my opportunity to see who's who deserves to make the team um i always play the preseason i usually try to get it out of the way pretty quickly uh, but I do think it's important to kind of see some of these rookies that aren't going to see whole, a whole lot of time uh, in the uh, in the regular season. All right, so things I wanted to do here. Run blocking, I'm down to move down a little bit. We've been destroying the game run blocking wise. So it's, it's cool if we move it down. Um, but with doing that, I'd like to increase our ability to throw the ball a little bit. So we're going to do that. We're going to do run blocking down five and QB accuracy up five. Uh, getting going in the passing game was very, very difficult last year, which I'm cool with. But I also want to have a little bit more realistic numbers. Same with run blocking. I feel like we were doing a little bit too well. I've tried to decrease this plenty of times. Nothing really seems to work, but we'll give it a shot. Um, everything else I feel like might be okay. Maybe we'll increase run blocking. Well, I don't know. They ran all over us in the, the postseason. Um, everything else might be okay. What we might do is increase... Oh, gosh. Increase their tackling a little bit. I'm cool with doing that. And that might be good going into the regular season. At least to start. We'll see how that works out for us. Uh, if we need to change it, that's what the preseason is for. To change all that stuff around. I feel like I'm forgetting to do something that I wanted to do, but I don't quite remember what it is. So I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are stoked and excited about Season 5, please hit that like button. It really helps me out a whole lot. And if we can break the like button record for this channel on this video, it's going to help me gain a whole lot of subs. It really would. I mean, we're not going to break that record, though, because some of those videos have been up for quite a while. But... If everybody just takes a, a brief second to hit that like button, it definitely does help my channel grow, which, you know, takes me further into the point of maybe possibly being able to leave my regular job and focus on this. So it'd be a win-win, I think. But guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in week one of the preseason as the Los Angeles Crusaders with their new rookies get ready to take on the Green Bay Packers. Later, guys.